I challenge, first of all, the American people to remember that the authorities over us are over us for a reason. Whether their name was Barack Hussein Obama or Donald John Trump. Obey the rules of society and follow the leaders. Secondly, I would suggest to those individuals, those presidents who have helped to preside newly or formally over the national and international tragedy of millions of people being blown out of their home because of the ego trip of a ruler. Here's what I'm going to challenge them to look at. I'm going to challenge them to look at this video just as I challenge you to look at this video. كان في أخواتي وأنا والبابا والماما هم هم بسوريا بخاف يموتوا حتى ما حبا أنا شفت صاروخ قام قام يمشي يجي هيك تستبدل هيك زتنا غزيتة وقام بي أخذنا لمت لمت الحبايب يتجي طيار يقع عليهم البيت احلى شجر وبحياتي يعني شفته والعصافير والكيل وهي لبس البيت يعني هلا الطيور بتصب بالجو من حال الطنيون السجر يبيس من حال المشاربون يعني انا اول شيء هيك مثل الحلم يعني انا هلا متى يعني شفتها هيك مثل الحلم يعني شيء بتجي عليهم الطيار بيزيد عليهم شي تغصفهم بالصان إلي مش شايفة عبير سنة ورجع على بلدي وعلى المدرسة على شفائي حاسة لا بس بس وقت أهلي هيك هيك تأثرت علي كتير آه حبوني ولا بحبوني كتير We're not going to wait for the government to do something. World Vision has been there for years. When I met their president, Rich Stearns, years ago, he said, God in some way will judge the actions of what we do in this generation by what we do with those children who are displaced. And so here's what we're going to do as a church, because it's the church's problem, because the government obviously can fix it. We're going to give $4,000 to World Vision to make a difference over there where they want to live with their families. And I'm challenging our president now and our president who just left, and every other president, to take of your vast fortunes, like we're taking from the fortunes we have given here. If, if one one-thousandth of Donald John Trump's fortune is $10 million, if he says he's worth $10 billion, give it, Mr. President. If, if $12,000 is one one-thousandth of your fortune, President, former President Obama, and you have $12.2 million, according, according to Money Magazine, give it. To William Jefferson Clinton, Hillary Rodham Clinton, George W. Bush, all the way back, be the example and give to be part of the problem. We're going to do it if nobody else does. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Go with God and get in a group. It's how we make a difference in this community and in your life too. God bless you.